Hey there YouTube, it's Mike the Dicka Collector here. Uh, I've been promising you for a while a mail day and I finally got my last card in so I figured I'd uh, show it off. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, got a bunch of cards here. Got football, bears, bulls, Dickas, Jordans, and an oddball. So let's get to it. Uh, we'll start here with this 2011 uh, Crown Royale Net Fusion of Robbie Gold. With a nice piece of the field goal net in there. Very cool. These are not numbered, but I do believe they're short printed. Because I this is the first one of these. Well, actually, I saw another one uh, that sold for like $45 six months ago. And then this is the first one I've seen since then. So, had to nab it at the price. Uh, beautiful card. Pristine edges. Just a great looking card. PC. Bears. And it looks like... a. With all the Robbie Golds I have, I might have a little mini PC going, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, next up, from 2009, Upper Deck Icons, the Immortal Letterman. I have the A for Dicka. Uh, I now have B, E, A, and S, so all I need is the R, and I'll have the full Bears nameplate. Uh, this is numbered 29 out of 120. A little bit of issue on the side here. But uh, other than that, it's a beautiful card in great shape. Another Dicka PC hit for the win. Oops. Uh, for the Bulls PC, normally I don't like to PC to have PC cards of uh, Bulls players not in Bulls uniforms. My only exception to that is uh, Team USA. I don't really like college except for Jordan. I'll sometimes go with UNC just because... Uh, cost prohibitive and stuff like that but uh i have to thank lynn over at man spokane for this uh for alerting me to this raffle from 2012 13 exquisite it's a nice tony kukoc in his uh team croatia uniform i figure if i can have team usa i guess i should have uh any player in their home country so very nice autographed here that's numbered 11 out of 99 it's pretty cool. Nice little write-up on the back of you received this trading card, blah, blah, blah. But the Croatian flag, which is kind of cool. So uh, nice to have this for the Bulls PC. Uh, then let's see, I get into some uh, Jordans. Somebody was selling a whole bunch of Jordan uh, cards, like a dollar each or something like that, with free shipping on Facebook. So I picked up a few from 2009 Upper Deck Jordan Legacy. We have uh, 23 consecutive points versus Atlanta. Let's get that on there. There you go. Sorry about the glare. Uh, 1987 NBA Slam Dunk Champion. It's a beautiful card. Classic MJ pose. All these cards are in great, gradable shape. And 1991 NBA MVP. Some great cards. So that was a nice little lot pickup for three dollars. And then uh, I finally purchased f a bunch of uh, PSA cards from Four, Four Sharp Corners. I've always been watching their auctions on eBay, and in general their prices are good. But sometimes I feel they're just a little too inflated, and I could never justify buying the cards on eBay just to get the eBay bucks. So after asking around and getting good reviews, I decided to try directly from Four Sharp Corners website. So I picked up a few cards here. Uh, <clears throat> from 1993 Ultra, it's uh, Michael Jordan, Gem Mint 10. Nice little finger roll over Charles Barkley. Very cool card. Uh, this next card, somebody on Facebook had this card uh, or a card like this and showed it and I fell in love with it so I looked it up on the PSA registry uh, it's a pop of 11 and uh, one popped up on eBay reasonable the auction didn't go too crazy so I picked it up from 2009 upper deck now appearing insert uh, Michael Jordan in a gem mint 10 this is a pretty cool set where I guess they try to make every player look like a, a movie poster uh, my daughter 
was uh, running around the house and, you know, she looks at our DVDs and she likes to look on the back and see the rating because she's allowed to watch PG and G. And then she knows, oh, I can be 13, I can watch PG-13, I can't watch R until whatever. Uh, so she looks through all the DVDs anyway, and she found the Scarface DVD, and she said, Daddy, that looks just like your card. And, you know, we looked at it, and lo and behold, it did kind of look like it. So I have a very observant daughter, folks. Uh, so I got this one, Pop of 11, PSA 10. So then I looked through the checklist to see if there were any other bulls, and lo and behold, there was uh, Derek Rose. Uh, this is a pop of two in a PSA 10. There's only 20 cards in the entire set, so I'm probably going to start trying to pick up as many as I can. These are the really nice looking set, very sharp looking and uh, great graphics, and so very nice to have. Uh, now we'll get into some Ditkas. These are all pop of two from 1991 Proline Portraits. From uh, 1992, Proline Profiles, PSA 10. I'm really kicking myself with the 92 set because uh, a while back on Facebook, Bart, uh, I can't remember his YouTube name, alerted me, <coughs> excuse me, to some auctions with the this set, and there was the one with a pop of one, and I just didn't have the funds at that time to pick it up, and uh, so now all I could get were the pop of twos. So I guess I'll be sending in. A uh, whole bunch of the raw ones to see if I can pull some tens. This is a nice set. Uh, they did a, a whole bunch of different uh, players and coaches and stuff. And it's a nine card set. And this is one of nine. Uh, so there's one of nine. And then here's uh, Dicka as a bear. Also PSA 10. This is two of nine. Here is uh, Dicka as a cowboy. But like I told uh, one of my friends on Facebook, it doesn't matter what team Dicka played for. Dicka transcends all teams. He's simply Dicka. PSA 10. Uh, this one is number 4 of 9. And then the final Dicka is uh, one of my favorites of him uh, chomping on a cigar. I think this is at his restaurant. I'm not positive, but uh, that's also PSA 10. And this is numbered 9 of 9. So I have 4 out of the 9 and 10. There's one other one that is a pop of 1. And then i got to send in the other 3 myself and hope I can see some 10s come out of them. The final card here uh, did not come from 4 Sharp Corners. It was another seller. Uh, I just, I've been watching it for a while, and I didn't know if I wanted to get it. I mean... He, it's uh, from 2009 Tops American Heritage, the Presidential Medal of Freedom subset uh, of Bill Cosby, my all-time favorite comedian, Gem Mint 10, and this is a pop of one, so decided to pick it up. It's nice to have for the PC. Those of you that have followed me from the beginning know that I also collect casino chips, and uh Bill Cosby has a ton of casino chips with his image on them, so I figured I'd pick that up too. So there you have it. I hope it was worth the wait. That is my mail day. Uh, thank you all for watching, and God bless.